show you all how I was able to kind of um, keep having my green beans set beans in this high temperatures that we're getting. It's 100 today. 100, I think it's 101 today. Got to 100, uh, 100 degrees yesterday. And we're just in some heat now that comes every year. And I just wanted to show you all kind of something new I did this year that's been very, very helpful. Uh, this is my garden here. I've got corn and beans planted in between. I've got green beans, pinto beans, black-eyed peas, all this stuff. This is kind of what they call the Three Sisters Method. However, I'm doing it for different reasons than what's typical. So Three Sisters is you plant your corn <coughs> and you plant your beans, generally pole beans beside it, um, which gives nitrogen to your corn. And then it, the corn allows you know give something for the beans to climb on but I use bush beans because I have very little luck with any productivity from uh, vining beans because they just don't do as good in the heat in my experience and uh, I have some bush beans that handle it better um, but the main reason I did this is for shade and I'm going to show you how that's been very helpful and incredibly productive because um, like I said we are in some serious heat now that we will be off and on for you know another couple months till it finally slowly but surely cools off um, but as you can see here my green beans are still setting you know the blooms are not falling off and that uh, is due to the shade that is ha happening here um, from the corn. Um, a lot of times people will add shade cloth over certain things to help, um, help them keep producing. Uh, but one thing I've found is this works very well if you live in an area where you get a lot of sun which is where I live and a lot of heat so um, I have been very happy with how this has worked I have harvested a lot of green beans and in fact this week as you can tell I need to harvest some here got them here that thing to focus and as you can tell I need to get out here and harvest these are perfect almost getting too big but what's good about these is they will hold that for a, a good while before as you can tell there's a bunch of beans on there anyway um this has worked well so if any of y'all struggle with um having to buy shade cloth and um and or just dealing with your beans not setting i would recommend this because this has worked very very well um for one i'm not having to spend money on shade cloth because i'm actually getting food uh, from the corn which then is doubling as a shade cloth and another thing is we deal with high winds in the spring and this corn has protected that most of those plants that i, I usually you lose Oh, 20 to 30 percent of my plants when they're small from the wind and the springs that come through with some storms uh, and this year I don't know if I lost any uh, I did lose some cucumbers to some wind but none of my beans any of that to the wind uh, and we did have some 50 60 mile an hour wind come through with some uh, storms this year so um, and now if you're wondering man that corn's wilt wilting needs some water and yeah, it's just it's a hundred degrees they do that they they get plenty of water got a good drip system going on it uh, you can tell how dry it is here but uh, yeah 
this has been a really neat system. Another thing that uh, if you are dealing with grasshoppers, which has been terrible this year in the garden, as you can tell here, see the leaves getting eaten up pretty bad. A lot of that's older damage. Uh, one thing that there's just very little, especially on the organic front, that you can do to help prevent or just keep grasshoppers out of your garden. Um, the thing that has um, done really good for me and is I've put chickens in here. And as you can tell, I've got squash here. It's probably coming back there. Doing good. About ready to harvest. Got squash, got all these beans, black eyed peas are coming in. Um, and I think I have lost one zucchini. And everybody's like, don't put them in there, they're gonna run your garden. No, they, and now it depends on what you have, but with what I have here, they have not hurt my garden at all. In fact, they've saved it. They love grasshoppers. If you have grasshopper pressure, they're gonna wanna eat those far before they go to any of your vegetables. And, and, uh, and it's really helped. What I have noticed is those grasshoppers, something happened with my camera. But anyway, what I was saying, uh, the grasshoppers have moved off the ground. You can see how bad it was in here. See, they're obviously not there anymore, but uh, um, they moved up on to my corn here, which they're not gonna hurt that. They're, I don't have enough for them to hurt this corn. There's just too much. Um, as my corn's already tasseling out anyway, so see the silk, uh, the silk's coming out anyway. Um, so I'm not far from my corn being done. Um, so yeah, if you're dealing with grasshopper pressure this year, which a lot of people are that they haven't normally been. Uh, I've never dealt with it. Uh, it's just been one of those years. Um, uh, and if you have chickens, go for it, I'll, you know, certain squash and uh, definitely zucchini they, they are a fan of zucchini uh, you'll have to cover up but uh, the rest go for it they will not hurt it Got some black hair in there. Um, and they will definitely save your garden um, so that is what I got for y'all do jade and this year I tried a new one from Haas which so far I highly recommend and I think this one right here is a Haas variety yep the Haas variety blaze I think is what it's called um, yeah look at those I mean it's it's been a hundred degrees now off and on for a while dry and they're setting beans so the shade is the way to go.